This guy is an absolute bargain in FM23. You can pick him up for about £4 million. Today, I'm going to bring you five other players that you can go and get for less than £10 million, making them bargains in FM23. Love a bargain. Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a video where I'm going to bring you my favourite five bargain players to buy in FM23. Now, what do I mean by bargains? Because I suppose that's a little bit up for debate, isn't it? Today, we're going to class a bargain as a player that costs less than £10 million. And I think you get more, more than value for money with these players. Let's jump in to my list of five then. But before we do that, I need to tell you something. Um, Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for listening to my broadcast today. We're aiming for 30,000 subscribers. There's going to be so many more FM23 videos to come. So please do subscribe. Let's have a look at my first player then. In no particular order, here are five bargains of FM23. The first player on my list then is a player whose price comes in towards the top end of my £10 million budget. But I think he's well and truly a budget buy and a bargain buy because just look how good he is. It's Mukhtar Diakabi at Valencia, a centre-back who is everything I look for in a centre-back. He has, I mean, just list it off really, isn't it? He's quick enough as a centre-back with 13 acceleration, 13 pace. He's got excellent jumping reach because he's six foot four. He's got 16 strength. He's got great heading. He could go and play for any Premier League team, I think. If you slotted him in at Liverpool and City, he would not look that far off the level you need. That goes to show you can go and get him for, play for teams like Newcastle, for example, and he'd be amazing. He's at Valencia and he's valued between 6.8 and 8.6 million pounds, making him, for me, a bargain. The reason for this, by the way, is that his contract is going to expire at the end of this season, the first season in game, meaning you could go and get him for even more of a bargain if you wait for his contract to expire. He might sign a new contract, though. That is the problem. Here, look, he's wanted by some decent teams too. Ajax are in for him, Hertha Berlin, for example. I think he's a bargain buy. If you speak to the agent, he will tell you that he want, that they want about 6.8 to 8.6 million pounds to go and sell him, to bring him in, making him my first bargain. I reckon it's a good one. What do you reckon? The second player on my list is a player that was linked with the Premier League in real life in the summer before his deadline day move to Leeds collapsed. He's ended up staying at Marseille. It's Bamba Dieng, who's a striker, 22 years old. He's Senegalese. He's got attributes in decent places. 16 acceleration, 15 pace. That's pretty good. He's got finishing of 14. He does have some gaps in his game. I'm going to say he's, he's average as far as a player goes. But if you're looking for a squad option or a backup striker, I don't think you can go far wrong with Bamba Dieng, especially maybe if you're one of those teams slightly lower down the table. I think he could be your first choice striker. Maybe if you're playing abroad as well, there's plenty of teams where Bamba Dieng could be a real asset to your squad and his value is really really low he does actually have two years left on his contract so it's not necessarily that it's that he's listed as a fringe player at Marseille he's only on 6.75k per week and they're they're only expecting 650k to 8.6 million pounds where if you can get lucky here you could get him for as low as 1 million 2 million probably if you're going to average it out you're probably looking for about 5 million up front which is I think a pretty good deal for a player that is pretty solid so he makes my list as my second bargain player let's move into number three number three on my list is a midfielder that plays in argentina his name is santiago hetze and as you can see from this particular save here he has been courted by a lot of premier league teams fulham leeds west ham as well as some italian teams in milan atalanta and inter that just shows the ai seem to rate him quite highly and i can see why he's got a very well-rounded profile his attributes are pretty decent for this ball winning midfielder spot he could probably play a, diff a few different roles in that midfield as well but the most intriguing thing about him is the fact that he plays for Huracan and can be bought for between 4.1 and 7.8 million pounds. I actually think in your saves, you might be able to get him a little bit cheaper than this. I've seen him go for about 2 million pounds in some saves, but he's on 1.5k per week. He's not going to be expensive. If you really want to make sure you beat these other teams to his signature as well, he does have a release clause of 8.75 million pounds at the start of the game. You, I feel like that's maybe just paying over the odds slightly, but then again, if there are teams who are having bids accepted and you want to make sure you're in there, that is one thing that you could do. He's got the, some decent traits too. Gets forward whenever possible. So if you wanted to play him slightly more attacking, you could do so. He's well-rounded though. He's a good midfielder and he's only 20 years old. So he's going to get better. I think there's definitely a bargain to be had here. Santiago Hetze is my third bargain on my list. Let's move through to number four. 
Number four on the list is another midfielder. This time, it's a it's a player who has been a bit of a bargain for a few seasons now in FM. It's Husam Awa at Leon. The fact that he's still at Leon is maybe a little bit surprising, considering what most people thought would happen to his career. He's still there. They was linked, I think, with a move to Betis in the summer, so maybe not quite gone on to the heights that a lot of people would have expected of him. That's maybe a good thing for us, though. It means that you could potentially pick him up for quite cheap in FM23. His value at the start of the game is listed as £7.2 million to £9 million, which is very gettable. And again, this is down to the fact that his contract is going to run out in a year's time. He is on £62,000 per week, but have a look at this profile here and you'd be getting a very good midfielder for the price that you'd pay for him. He's got great passing, technique, first touch, decent physicals, pretty good mentals as well, can play actually in a few different roles in midfield as well. Maybe the advanced playmaker, I think maybe deep line playmaker for me. If we have a look at how he looks for those ones, look, that would probably probably be my choice continental reputation 7.2 million pounds i don't think you can go wrong he's made his france debut as well he's only 24 so could get a little bit better from this he's linked in the game for me here to wolves and gladback so some top division teams from the premier league from the bundesliga there i think he's definitely a bargain who some hour is choice number four that takes us to my final pick of my five bargains in fm23 before we get into my final pick here, this is where I'm actually just going to call upon you guys to help me out because the five players that I'm going to pick in today's video are by no means the be-all and the end-all of, of all the bargains that you can get in FM23. I am sure that you have signed players that you consider to be bargains. And what I'm asking is to pop them down in the comments down below because then we're extending our list. We're going to make a beautiful long list of all the players that you can get for cheap and we can use all of them. It's a win-win, isn't it? I get loads of lovely comments to read. You guys get a massive list of potential bargains bargains in Football Manager. Make sure you get those down in the comments down below. And my final pick of my five is... It's one of my favorites. It's Marcus Toram. He has been a favorite of mine in FM22, FM21, maybe even just before that as well, because... He hits all of my tick points if I'm looking for a potential player, a meta player for me. He is rapid. He's got 17 pace. He's got 14 acceleration. He's strong. He's got 16 strength. He is massive. He's six foot four with six, 15 jumping reach, making him a big, tall, fast man. And, um, that works in Football Manager. That's what I use most of the time. On top of that as well, by the way, he's got 16 technique and 16 dribbling. Mean And actually also 12 finishing, which is not that bad at all, really, is it? He's 24, so is going to improve from this point on. But the thing that makes him a bargain is the fact that he's valued at 600k. Well, 600k to 4.3 million pounds. He's definitely a bargain. The one small caveat, I suppose, on Toram is the fact that he is on 83,000 pounds per week. That contract, though, is going to run out in 2023. He's got one year left on it. So there is potential to go and get him on a free as well, which would be even more of a, of a bargain. A lot of these players on this list are players whose contracts are going to run out, which reminds me, I'm thinking of making a video of the top five free agents on FM. And we do the free agents at the start of the game as well as the free agents one year into the game. If that's something you'd like to see, please do let me know in the comments as well. It's something I'm definitely thinking about. I just need to compile a bit of a list. Today's video has helped with that, actually. There's a couple of these that end up being bargains because their contracts are going to run out, aren't they? Marcus Toram, I think, is definitely a bargain. 24, so as I say, he's going to get a little bit better with time too. He's linked in my save to Aston Villa, so there you go. Premier League teams think he's good enough. The traits are pretty good. It cuts him from the left wing, which is a nice trait to have. I think he might be most effective from this left-hand side as well, actually. It's where I've used him most of all. I really like him. It's Marcus Toram. He's my fifth bargain. And that is my list. <clears throat> Thank you very much for watching today. I do hope these... Thank you very much for watching today. I do hope this list is helpful for you in your saves. A big thank you before we go to my Patreon members. I wanted to mention and get it into a video too. There are quite a few of you who are supporting over on Patreon now. I really do appreciate that. You get your name at the end of the video. And also with these lists that we're making, I'm making sure that I'm putting them all on Patreon too so that you can have everything that all of my top fives in one place. So we've got the top five must sign players. We've got the top five wonder kids. Now we're going to have the top five bargains. All of them are in one place too if you do support over on Claytron. And as I say, you get your name at the end of the video too. As a way of a thank you, look out for your name right after I say goodbye here. Go and watch another video. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye. Great, great outro.